So now that we are done with validation of our user data and also sanitization of our user data, in this video, we are going to insert in the data that we have gotten from the user. So over here, we'll collect the input field that the user entered. The first one being the username. We need to clean it, so use escape. And this one be dollar underscore post. This one be username. And also we need to get the full name. So this one be full name. To be escape. Then we also need to get the email. Then we also need to get the password. Okay. So now this is what we have. So now we are going to create as to insert in data, right? We are going to insert in data into our database. So we'll create a method called register user. So this one be dollar account our notation, our notation, register, register underscore user. Register underscore user will take four parameters. The first one being the username, comma, dollar, full name, email, and also password. We have not created this method yet, so copy everything from here. Go to your account. In this video, I've attached a code snippet so you can copy it from there. The first one is to get the public IP address. The second one is to get the user browser, that's the operating system that the user is using, and also the browser that the user is using. This is the operating system that the user is using. Right? So, over here will be public function. Register user and then there's it. Okay. So we have this one over here. So the first thing I want us to do is that we don't store plain text in database. So we'll create a function for this on the public function hash. So it will take one parameter that is the password. That is the password. Then this one where will just return pass underscore hash. So this one over here will hash the password that the user entered. So over here will be dollar this. So encrypted, encrypted. Password it goes to this hash password, then this one be dollar password. The password is this one. Okay, so now the next thing I want us to do is to get the IPs. That's what I want us to do. So this one be dollar IP is equal to dollar this our notation gets IP okay. then dollar OS that's the operating system that the user is using dollar this our notation get OS and also dollar browser browser that the user is using then this is so now this is what we have. Now this one be the last statement. We have insert into users. We are inserting what the username. What else are we inserting again? We are also inserting the full name. We are inserting the password, the email. IP, the OS, and also the browser. This is not just IP, private IP, underscore IP. And this is private underscore OS, and this one is I. And this one will be private underscore browser. Okay. 
I remove this one from here. So this is the values. So this one will be colon username colon full name colon password colon email right then this one will be colon IP then comma colon OS then we have colon browser okay so now this is what we have now the second thing that we need to do is that we need to bind it right we have several we can choose to do it to this way but I don't want that so I'll be doing statement our notation bind param then this one will be pdo from column param underscore str then this one will be dollar statement our notation we are binding the full name to this one then this one will be dollar again statement so this one we are binding the encrypted password not this one but rather this one so this this one this name over here must match this one this is a placeholder test right and we also have dollar s statement our notation bind email and dollar statement our notation bind ip and dollar statement our notation bind operating system dollar statement our notation bind the browser which is this one okay so i think that's all so now the next thing that we need to do is just execute so if we execute then this one with dollar statement our notation plus plus inserted inserted id so now we are supposed to return last inserted id so this one over here will be dollar return dollar this our notation pdo our notation last inserted id this one is semicolon so the data the last data being inserted this one over here within we use the keyword insert to insert in data into our database so anytime that we want to insert in data into our database we use the keyword insert so now what are we supposed to do next so this one over here will be user underscore id right so this one contain the user underscore id so if it's true that it's containing something and over here what are we supposed to do we we'll first generate unique so generate a unique session ID. So this one be session underscore regenerate underscore ID. Then over here we'll color underscore session. We'll add the user ID to the session. So user underscore ID to this session. Then we'll redirect redirect to URL underscore four in this dot php i have not created this function yet so let's go and create it that's the first thing we need to do and after that so now let's go to our functions why you'll be function url underscore four this one will be our scripts and it will be just return 
underscore root then we can concatenate it with what all other scripts which is this one so we have solved the first one the second one is to create the static method redirect copy this one from here go to your classes create a new file paste it here dot php we need to remove all space okay and then open your php tab so this one be class keyword then this one be redirect so this one be public static function two the two over here means where which location this one be location where are you directing the script this one be now to check if all are location mean that if it containing something then over it will be header then location then over it will just exist what if the location is numeric mean that it's number let's say 404 page but not this one or maybe if the page cannot be found then what are we supposed to do so if is underscore numeric so if it's numeric at the location then you switch so it's up to you so this one will be switch and this one will be dollar location so the case what we are checking for is 404 page right 404 so this one will be 404 then we'll break it so this one <laughs> then we include we include what the 404 page dot php which is very necessary semicolon okay let's create the okay we have Create, create a file called for for we'll do we'll do this one don't worry but just create a file called call it for for page right nothing is inside here okay. okay so now i think everything is done so now what is left is for us to go and check and see whether our logic is working fine all right so first just refresh it enter in data any data at all that you want just enter in there right just enter in there the username right so user yeah password anything click on register good so meaning that our logic has worked fine it has directed us to the index page which is good for us okay so now hmm, yeah so I think that's it for this video so in the next video we are going to work on something else